Do you want to earn free crypto, aka free money? Just call 1-800-555-FREE-CRYPTO. Okay, maybe it's not that easy, but there are some pretty easy ways to earn cryptocurrency and I'm gonna cover six of them in this video. Some of them can make you very wealthy, but the difficulty does go up. And I'm gonna score each method based on the time it takes, its difficulty, and its potential earnings. Number one, airdrops. Airdrops are the best way to get involved with new cryptocurrencies before they start trading. That means you could potentially get a new cryptocurrency that could be very valuable, making it a valuable airdrop. And we can look at a quick example. Aptos recently had an airdrop for early network participants. Yes, it did crash because everyone is selling the coin, but participants in the Aptos incentivized testnet or those who minted the Aptos Zero testnet NFT will get up to 150 APT tokens and at the time of making this video it's worth 765 times 150 now that's a lot that's a lot for participating in a test net where you only invest your time now this is a little more advanced because you have to be more tech savvy when it comes to using crypto DeFi, your own wallets and understanding all of that but you can make a significant amount now, why are projects giving away these new tokens? Basically, it's marketing, it's showing that there's users, it's uncovering potential bugs in its early stages before they open the doors to the full public release. So airdrops are a good way to incentivize and reward people that were in the community early, that were using the platform, and these can be very lucrative. Now, you probably want to know, where do you find these airdrops? So we're gonna head over to DeFi Llama and we're gonna go down to airdrops. Now these are tokenless protocols that may have an airdrop. A protocol is a project, it's a decentralized application, it's a dApp, and that means they have a ecosystem or a working product, but they don't have a token yet. And that doesn't mean that they'll have a token in the future, but they could potentially. And if you get involved with each of these, you could potentially be eligible for an airdrop when they potentially launch a token. That's just not guaranteed, but potentially you would be eligible and it could be a valuable airdrop. Now this does involve understanding what DeFi is, using multiple wallets, using uh, their ecosystems. Sometimes it might require a small investment, but this is a very lucrative way to get new tokens early and uh, you can make a living off that. Now my pro tip for this one is that you can use multiple wallets. It doesn't mean that all wallets will be eligible. Sometimes they have to do KYC, but if you know multiple people who don't really care, you could farm airdrops. And that is another way to get your full value from airdrops. And if that was helpful, feel free to help this video out by hitting the like button, commenting, thanks, this is a great video. YouTube should show it to more people and Dan can grow his channel. That would be fantastic, but just a thumbs up is cool too. All right, moving on. The Dan rating for time, this is a medium. It does take time to learn and understand uh, how to use these multiple protocols. For difficulty, medium, because you have to be more of an intermediate to advanced crypto user because you need to understand what you're doing and you need to do it safely so you don't risk any funds. And that does require uh, advanced knowledge of these types of things. And for earnings, high. The earnings can be very high as we've seen with the recent Aptos airdrop. In some rare cases, airdrops have been worth more than $10,000. So you might want to consider getting involved with projects that haven't launched a token yet or potentially a very lucrative airdrop. Number two, learn and earn. Now, crypto projects use their marketing budget to give you coins for free. But to earn it, you gotta learn about it. Now this is popular on a lot of major crypto exchanges. They want their users to learn about coins and projects and they potentially get paid for it and you get paid for it too. 
So how do you earn? Let's look at an example. I'm in Coinbase at the moment. I'm in Learning Rewards and we can see what I'm eligible for and there are multiple projects here. So let's take a look at uh, the last one, OO Token. So earn $3 and we can hit Start Lesson. Uh, see, I thought this said earn $100, but this is earn one zero zero token because that's what the uh, project is called zero zero token. So uh, don't be misled by this one, but still we can earn up to $3 for this lesson. So we have to learn some basics about this and then we have to take a quiz. Engagement, incentivize are actually um, highlighting all the keywords. Pools aims to bridge the gap by becoming the go-to platform for creating and using social tokens. Social tokens on pools serve as an incentive for deeper engagement and a common currency among creators. Pools launch communities. Community members' pools can earn their favorite tokens. Makes pools relevance and community focus. Okay, here's the quiz. What is pools? Select the answer to earn $1 in 00, zero token. An NFT marketplace for artists, an esports platform for player tokens, a decentralized finance protocol, a social token platform for fans, artists, creators, and brands. That's it. I did it. I earned $1 in 00, zero token, and then it automatically moves us on to the next quiz. So if each of these take one minute and you get $1 per minute, you are making $60 an hour off Learn and Earn. Now these opportunities aren't gonna consistently arise, but when they do, it's worth a shot because especially in a bear market, when you get these tokens, they could be very valuable during the next bull market. And if you don't wanna miss these opportunities when they arise, I would recommend subscribing to the emails from your crypto exchanges. Now here's another tip for you. Where can you find these Learn and Earn opportunities? Coinbase. Binance, KuCoin, Crypto.com, CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, Pools, and more. As for the Dan rating, time, very easy. It only takes a few minutes. Difficulty, also easy. And for earnings, I would rate it medium. Overall, I think people should consider it, especially if you are just learning about cryptocurrency and you just want to start earning some crypto with no investment. And one more thing, if you need a referral link to any of the crypto exchanges, I do have a full list that will get you your full value. And if you want to learn how to do your crypto research, there's a link there too. Number three, cashback from crypto credit cards. Now there aren't a lot of crypto credit cards available. There's only three, at least to my knowledge as a US resident, but you can earn crypto passively through your regular credit card spending. And the available cards are the BlockFi credit card, 1.5% back on all purchases, and you can get that in the form of cryptocurrency or any of the coins that BlockFi supports. Then there's the Gemini credit card. This gets you 3% back on dining, 2% on groceries, 1% on all other purchases. And then the SoFi credit card gets you 2% back on all purchases. And for the Dan rating, time, easy. You don't really have to do that much. Difficulty, also easy. Earnings, low. This is just a passive way to earn cryptocurrency through your daily spend. Number four, community events. Now this typically happens on social media or on specific platforms, but you participate in the event and you can potentially win or earn cryptocurrency. This is pretty common with AMAs, retweet to win, commenting on content. These are real ways to earn cryptocurrency, but only from reliable sources. There's a lot of giveaway scams on Twitter, never give away your seed phrase, stay safe out there, and stick to the more reputable projects. So where do you find these community events? I found that crypto exchanges run events very frequently where you can potentially win or earn some cryptocurrency. So follow all of the major crypto exchanges, even the smaller exchanges. You can find the list of exchanges on CoinMarketCap, just go to exchanges, spot, and then you're gonna see a long list of crypto exchanges. Personally, I see a lot from Binance and KuCoin, so check them out on Twitter. Now, when it comes to these community events, the rewards are more like a competition, so earnings are not guaranteed. But if you participate in enough of these types of events, your odds are pretty good at earning. Now for the Dan rating. 
time. High, you will have to invest a lot of time following and participating. Difficulty, medium, because you'll have to participate and get involved at the right times and maybe it might be something very time consuming or difficult or something you don't know about. Earnings, medium. Overall, not a bad way to earn cryptocurrency. Number five, Reddit moons. You can actually earn cryptocurrency on Reddit for creating good content or comments that people like. And this can happen in the cryptocurrency subreddit. Now, Reddit is one of the largest social media platforms out there, and anyone who contributes to the cryptocurrency subreddit is eligible to earn moons. Moons is a cryptocurrency, it has value, and you can earn a significant amount if you are good at commenting and creating content that people engage with. So, how much can you make? While I haven't tried myself, some claim you can be earning as much as $100 to $200 a month, and that's during the bear market. As for the Dan rating, time, medium to high, because it does involve a lot of commenting, building a reputation, getting good at engaging with others or creating content. Difficulty, medium, you don't know how people are going to respond to your posts consistently, and earnings, medium. You could make a significant amount, but it really depends on how good you are and how much people like you on Reddit. Number six, bounties. Bounties can be extremely lucrative, but also extremely difficult to find. Basically, companies offer bounties if you find vulnerabilities in their network or product. But the thing is, you have to be very tech savvy and knowledgeable to find these opportunities. Basically, you're going to have to be a hacker. So for example, a hacker stole $117 million through an exploit, but plans on keeping $47 million as a bug bounty. Now this is the most extreme example, but there are other examples out there where people who honestly found a bug reported it, they were rewarded a lot of money. So how much can you make from these bounties? Realistically, it can be anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to a couple million. In early 2022, Aurora paid out six million dollars to a white hat hacker. As for my rating, time, high, difficulty, extreme, earnings, extreme. Now, we really need to touch on the difficulty here. Uh, basically, it is as difficult as becoming the next president of the United States, escaping North Korea, or beating the rock in a fight with a tortilla. There's a lot of ways to earn cryptocurrency for free, and I hope these methods have been helpful. If I missed something big, let me know in the comments, and thanks for liking the video. Good luck out there, and with that, I hope you got your full value for today.